Hey everyone, welcome to Boca Raton. We're in Boca Bridges, it's a gorgeous community and we're taking a look at Casa Dali. Let's take a look around. Stepping inside, insane. You're just greeted with so much open space. The view of the pool against the lake. You have the, the art surrounding us. And I just wanna mention the listing agents, my good friends, Eddie and Christina with Compass for allowing me to do this tour. I'm absolutely grateful. I can't wait to show you guys right in here into the living room. It's the perfect place. It's a perfect place to sit down, cross your leg, wear some linen pants, and just relax. You know, you have discussions with your family while admiring the art and architecture. Glance over the view if you need to. It just got it all. And so we'll come out of this room. It's just mostly, you know, formal. Let's go a little informal. We'll go over here into the entertaining side. You know, let's, let's look at a purple pool table. You have it right here. This thing is gorgeous. Art on the walls. And to correlate with this purple pool table, purple artwork, more artwork, drinks, but this is basically your wet bar. You know, you got the ice maker, the wine cooler, the sink. And another feature I'd like to point out is right over here on my left, you actually have like an office space, not staged because it's for your imagination, make this a room, but as an office where you're near your family, but you have your own space where you can work, still have windows for natural light. What more do you need? All right, so before we head down any further around this house, I wanna take you down this hallway real quick towards the garage. We're gonna pass the mud room and we're gonna take a look at the garage, door open. the garage door. Take a look what's in there. I just teleported you to the 1980s. We got this vintage Ferrari. Doesn't come with the house, but it's a visualization. See yourself here. This is where your baby's gonna sleep at night. And this is just one of two garages. So you have four car garage, put vintage over here, newer over there, you decide. Now let's continue on forward and just like what I'm pointing out. Look at all this space you see. We're sitting in just under 8,000 interior square feet and you can kind of see it in this room. The high ceilings, the distance between each room, it's money. And speaking of money, we have a art fixture over here that I'd like to point out. It's got like the stock symbols in there and it looks like it's going on forever. You look down, it's basically a dark well of just stock symbols. Back on track, here's the dining room. You know, what a place to have a Great meal with your friends and family. This is a seating for 12 people? I don't even know 12 people. Half of this would be occupied. I'm over here, king of the table, you know how it is. Light fixture above, I'm in love with it. You're surrounded by, once again, luxury art pieces. Two accesses to the kitchen. And before I get to the kitchen, I just wanna point something out about what's down over here. This is basically like your service side. So you have a full bedroom, bathroom, access to that second garage, the elevator is right over here. Let me actually show you it because the elevator has a pretty cool design inside. So click the button, open it up. You got that like two-tone wall, lights above. This is like a little library looking room, but it's an elevator, pretty cool. And then just like I said, through one of the entrances, we'll take a look at the kitchen. You have a two-tone layout. This is not how the builder designed it. The owner customized it. So you have this tone on one side, this darker tone on the other side. You know, it's controversial. I love it. If you don't, then I can't help you. You have a brass pot filler above, and this is to match the brass kitchen sink that you have. It's got like a golder finish. Really cool, really elegant. You have a Wolf six burner gas stove, vent above, so you can basically just whip up a delicious stinky meal and it gets vented out your guests are none the wiser. They're like, how is he doing this magic? Two dishwashers, one over here, one over here, because you got a big family, and we know, so we equipped you with two dishwashers. Microwave oven, but then down here, check this out. Into this room, we have a walk-in pantry. Amazing, so big families, two dishwashers, wash all the dishes, tons of storage for all the snacks. We got you covered. As we come down a little bit, two ovens, so you got the Wolf appliances. We've got dual ovens here, microwave there, stove there. You're basically in a chef's kitchen. And speaking of insane appliances, Mila fridge and freezer. You heard of Sub-Zero, right? I have two. This is a different level. This is foreign. We got that beautiful steel front door down from the cabinets, looks really good. 
How about this? The island has a mini island, uses like your breakfast room. So rather than take up space and have another table, it just lips down four places to sit, super comfortable, still involved in the kitchen. I could see many like Hallmark mornings here. You know, you wake up, dad kisses, the mom kisses the kids. Gotta run to work, honey. They fly out the door. This is where the kids are always sitting, always. And now into the living room. It's got basically what everyone would want. So you have a seat in front over here facing the TV, right? So you can sit on there, face the TV, or you can sit on this side and face the art, you know? We got really cool art on the walls on this side, so why wouldn't you? You know, sometimes you're in a more of a creative mood, sometimes you just wanna just relax and not think about anything. There's so much. The light fixtures above, this lamp, the alligator, and this whole room is complemented by the amazing view that you have. It's spectacular, to be honest. I'm surprised there's not seats facing the view. That could just be a little, little add-on if you're thinking about it. And then down here, cabana-style bathroom, you know? Shower, everything you need, perfect for the guests to come in and out from outside without getting the floors wet. Let's actually cut to outside. I wanna show you the space out there. Follow me. All right, passing some beautiful spoon art. I need to get that in my house. Let's step outside into your backyard oasis. The reason I'm calling it an oasis is because the owner actually upgraded this pool. This is not the standard size for the pool. He got the large version, so now you really are in a resort. And looking around, you got like wood finishes. You have the summer's grill over there where you can cook an amazing meal, sit outside, lounge with your friends and family. And then this hot tub jacuzzi, it waterfalls into some shallow areas. And you have 2,200 square feet of outdoor space and a 15,000 square foot lot. So tons of space, tons of privacy, amazing views. It doesn't get better than this. Let's head inside. I'm gonna show you upstairs and where you're gonna spend the night. Let's cross back over the living room, up these stairs. Why would I take the stairs when I got an elevator? Hey guys, I thought you were following me. That's kind of funny. Anyway, come over here with me. I want to take you into the upstairs entertainment side. This is really cool, really cool. You get an insane view of everything. You know, from right here, you can see the front entrance where your car was, this crazy light fixture, your beautiful staircase. It's just an insane view. And then over here, speaking of views, you have this like guest living area with a balcony facing the water. They can come here, relax, look at some more art, watch more movies and TV shows on this huge TV, hang out at night. This could be like a movie room if you wanted. But let me show you where some of the guests are gonna be sleeping. We've got a few bedrooms. This house has six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms, so you get tons of space. You got two guest bedrooms down over there with their own en suites. I'll show you this one on my right inside because when you come in, you got a crazy view of the water. Personal en suite, access to the balcony. This room does not compare though to the main suite. So when we walk down, it's on a separate side. It's got its own space and it's incredible. Follow me. The art at the end of this hallway as well. That's actually not a painting. Those are a bunch of like, I think it's Versace or Hermes ties but that have been folded. So just really cool thing to look at. Down over here, you have upstairs laundry. So you don't have to carry the laundry up and down. You even have a, potential gym room. It's still in the works. You can put a Peloton, get some weights in here, make this a bedroom. It's got an ensuite, it's got a balcony, so it's definitely really cool. I'm about to show you a mini apartment almost, you know? So let's walk in. Into this insane suite. Just standing here, looking down the view you get. It just goes down forever. And your closet's on my right. This is, I think, just one of the closets. Look at the size of this thing, huge. She'll never complain, he can't complain. This is so much space. And then we have, just in front of me, the main bathroom. Let's head inside. Walking in, once again, massive. I mean, this is her side behind me, her sink, her vanity. And then her toilet and bidet hidden behind frosted glass. How peaceful is that? I'm in love. And in between, the separation is where you're gonna shower and bathe. Look at this tub, this is a soak-in tub. I've never seen one this shape before. And it's sitting under this insane art piece. And then look at this walk-in shower we have, the size of it. Matt, this is like a Roman shower. You have two shower heads, wands, a place to sit, rain head. And then you have his side. The essentials for everybody, relaxation and luxury. 
we're going to come out together this door second closet over here in here basically the same size as the one we just saw maybe a little smaller there's room for a safe tons of space a wet bar to let you know we're about to see something crazy put some drinks in here sink in there and then you your basically your main suite bedroom has a living room place to put a tv a light fixture this is just like a little living area for the bedroom and then the actual bedroom we're gonna be sleeping at night is right over here look at this king size bed tv on the wall access to a balcony it's like a song i feel like i'm singing a song right now and speaking of the access to the balcony when you pop out onto here insane out here and then all of this is accompanied by this ridiculous view just standing out here in the morning getting a nice breath of fresh air it doesn't get better than this here in boca raton i just want to say thank you for coming on this tour with us if you have any questions about this home please there's a link in the bio for with all the information and I just wanna say thank you again. I love you, I care about you, I care about you more than any YouTuber cares about their audience, and that's a fact. And I'll see you at the next one. Have a good day.